Arkansas Governor Sarah Sanders announced her support of Joseph Wood, the Secretary of the Department of Transformation and Shared Services, to take over as Republican Party of Arkansas Chairman. She's hoping he'll take over for Republican Party Chair Cody Hyland. Wood has been a member of the RPA for over 25 years and has served the state in numerous positions. On the endorsement, Wood stated he was honored for the support and said he was looking forward to, quote, helping the governor make Arkansas first in everything. 4029's Yuna Lee spoke with a political science professor about the party's future. And to talk more about the history and where the Republican Party may be headed in Arkansas is Dr. John Clark Davis. Dr. Davis is a teaching associate professor of political science at the University of Arkansas and the executive director of the Pryor Center for Arkansas Oral and Visual History. And also the upcoming or author of an upcoming book called From Blue to Red, The Rise of the GOP in Arkansas. It talks about the history of the party system here in the natural state too. And Dr. Davis, thank you so much for joining us today on 40, 2090s on the record. Let's start with the changing politics in Arkansas has changed quite a bit in the last few decades. Can you talk about that a little bit? It has, absolutely. So Arkansas, like many Southern states, uh, was long considered uh, a solid South democratic state. Uh, after the Civil War up until quite recently, about 15 years ago, Arkansas would have been considered one of, if not the most solidly uh, big D Democratic Party states in the, in the United States uh, in terms of state legislative balance of power, a long line of governors, uh, majority of our House and Senate delegation, um, top down in many cases, they were Democrats in office. And Arkansas began to change. Uh, we had periods from the 60s on where we started to see little blips of Republican success. Um, we see um, the, the rise of Winthrop Rockefeller in the 1960s, and he has two two-year terms as governor of Arkansas as a Republican, and that was significant. At the time, uh, it had been nearly 100 years since that had happened. We hadn't had a Republican governor since Reconstruction, and so his sentence to that office was a big deal. Uh, he has, at that time, they were two-year terms for governor. He served two terms. Uh, he then loses a reelection bid. Um, and we go another decade without a Republican uh, leader uh, in a real prominent position in the state. Uh, we then have Frank White in 1980, who takes the uh, gubernatorial office from Bill Clinton at the time, who serves a two-year term and then loses re-election. Uh, and then we have Mike Huckabee in the 1990s into the 2000s, who uh, becomes governor almost by accident. Um, he is uh, running for the U.S. Senate in 1992, loses, runs a really close race to Dale Bumpers, really well-regarded, well-known public figure um, uh, in, in nationally at the time, uh, loses to him. Um, so Huckabee, a Republican, challenges a Democratic incumbent and loses in 92, but then goes and runs for a special election for lieutenant governor. And this is when Bill Clinton's going to the White House. And so uh, the state constitution requires um, that we fill these positions they are being vacated. And the Clinton's going to Washington means that the lieutenant governor, Jim Guy Tucker, is going to move up to the governor's position. Mike Huckabee, a Republican, wins the special election for lieutenant governor, usually a position that's not very consequential, to be quite frankly. Uh, he wins that race and then a few years later becomes governor when Jim Guy Tucker steps down uh, amid some, some legal issues. Um, from there, we have Mike Huckabee for almost 10 years. Um, and in that time, the Republican Party begins to build what we would consider a bench of political talent for the first time in the state's history. Mm -hmm. uh, he's able to make appointments. He's able to um, get to know people in the state and people in the state, more importantly, get to know a Republican uh, in the governor's office for a long time. So we have periods of success, but what we're seeing today is, is um, unprecedented growth in the Republican Party in this state mm -hmm. over the last 15 or so years. And it's largely uh, because of a confluence of things. One, uh, the party worked diligently to build off of the successes that they had from the Huckabee years. Um, they also uh, had the ability to uh, harness um, uh, a potential for Arkansas voters to feel uh, perhaps alienated by the Democratic Party. If you were a more moderate to conservative 
Arkansan polling would suggest you were moving away from the Democratic Party and the Republicans were poised to take advantage of that and did, uh, particularly during the Obama presidency years. Um, but the other big thing that happened is Republicans are really effective at keeping uh, what I might consider brand discipline. Mm -hmm. uh, so a Republican at the national level is the same as a Republican at, at the state level in Arkansas. Uh, Democrats have struggled with that for decades, and Republicans were poised uh, in the last decade in particular to uh, really take advantage of that opportunity. And all this really gets to the idea of party building, which is something we don't think a lot about. Um, but you have elected officials and then you have party officials and party officials uh, work to fundraise. They work to work with uh, local entities, local chapters of the party, if you will, committees uh, to build up uh, volunteers uh, for the next election cycle to do a lot of the behind the scenes things that parties need to do to not only grow uh, and thrive, but then maintain that growth. And, and that's where we see the Republican Party today. It's a party that is the dominant party in Arkansas. Um, it is a party that enjoys right at uh, or mm -hmm perfectly super majorities in the legislature, and they're maintaining that growth. Now, Dr. Davis, uh, we have just about 30 seconds or uh, so left in that party chair is shifting. I've been here for almost a decade and seen a handful of party chairs. And now with the word of Joseph Wood possibly taking on as a Republican party chair, uh, it's a historic um, event, isn't it? It is. So Joseph Wood, if he becomes the state party chair of the Republican Party, would be the first person of color to be in that role, uh, which is a historical achievement um, for uh, the party and for Mr. Wood. Um, it would perhaps allow the party um, to um, have a, a person with administrative experience as a county judge, uh, state level experience as a current secretary in the cabinet uh, to serve in that role. Uh, but also perhaps it would allow the party an opportunity to make inroads in um, a voting block that is still considerably Democratic leaning, and that would be African Americans in Arkansas. All right, Dr. Davis, thank you so much for joining us from the University of Arkansas to talk about the uh, GOP party and where it's headed. Thank you.